everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Win 63, if we get it here, we are playing Isaac. It's not that meaningful. What's really important is win Nintendo 64, but win Nintendo 63 is a step on the path to win Nintendo 64, so let's do it. TPBD ADVE. It's a seed without numbers. That uh, probably should not intimidate me, but for whatever reason, I'm looking for any sign that is like, is this the end of the streak? Yo, this, this seed doesn't have numbers in it. Does that mean there's no special items? Oh, that's a pretty dang good start. If it ends up being awesome, even the chest here is still pretty good, let's be honest. I mean, we, excuse me, <laughs> we traded one bomb for two bombs, five cents, and a spirit heart. So, I'm relatively pleased with this. We are going to wait on that. Ooh, a little dangerous here. Oh, that hurt real bad. That's going to hurt as well. Yeah, please. I thought actually I might be trapped in there forever, so the fact that we managed to get out feels pretty good. Uh, I may have to take our spirit heart to avoid death, but uh, honestly, one red heart, hopefully temporarily, for the small rock is a totally fine payout. I, I took a chance on re-rolling Bobby Bob on. I it's the it's like five bombs, right? It's that's what it gives me. Homing bombs are not meaningless, but they're rarely that meaningful with the way that I tend to play the game. So it's like, do you want to trade your item room for five bombs? Are you happy with that? Most of the time, even in the early game, I'd probably say, yeah, that's okay, especially if I'm running a little low on bombs, which I wasn't really, but instead, we ended up getting the scissors on our reroll, but we have a second chance here because there is a battery right there, and we're, oh, okay, don't, don't fuck it up. <laughs> We're more likely, that's good, we're more likely to like our shop item than we are to like the scissors, which is effectively meaningless for us. There are very few, no, I say shop item, I mean boss item. There's very few boss items that are actually worse to have than not have. Chemical peel is much better for us, I feel. We're going to continue doing some exploration before I take uh, the, the spirit heart here. I might take it before the boss fight if, you know, our HP is a little low, because you never know what kind of boss we're going to end up fighting. Could be the haunt. That could be not that bad. Um, it could be fistula. That could be terrible. It, it might be best for us to have a nice insulation for it. Is all I'm trying to get at. And anarchist cookbook. I mean, there's something to be said for like maybe taking anarchist cookbook. Uh, excuse me. I didn't realize that you guys were going to be coming for me here. Did you RSVP on Facebook because uh, I appear to have lost your invite? Uh, it actually went pretty well there. Um, there we go. Uh, we could use anarchist cookbook on this room. Maybe get something out of it. That was not a smart bit of damage to take. I have been playing relatively poorly here, but it's unlikely to make too big of a difference as long as we get out of this floor with some HP and a spirit heart left over. We have a, we're at the arcade amount of money as well, but we might want to buy a second spirit heart. I think a second spirit heart is probably much more meaningful for our uh, chances than an HP upgrade from an arcade. And, you know, the HP upgrade from an arcade is not even guaranteed, so. Let's just hide out in the corridor here. I can't believe that that actually basically worked. I'm gonna take a take a gander and maybe a second secret or a secret room here. We got a penny for a bomb, a quarter for your call, and all your mama's love, but that doesn't really give us that much here, does it? I think I'm gonna just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna take the spirit heart, and I may, well, I will go to our shop, and if there's another spirit heart available, I'll buy it. We're very unlikely to lose two spirit hearts against the boss, but if we do, at least we didn't die. That's, that's my philosophy on the matter there. Now, it would be nice as well to still have the arcade chance, but that's all right. If we don't get it, we don't get it. Let's head down to our boss fight. And it is the haunt. We probably would not expect to lose, um, you know, well, one full spirit heart would be a suboptimal haunt fight for sure. Two full spirit heart losses would, would be cataclysmic. We're in a pretty uh, privileged position, you know. Ooh, that was really bad. We're in a pretty privileged position. We got Small Rock, we got Chemical Peel. You know, Chemical Peel might not be the most amazing damage upgrade in the game, but Small Rock is really, really good, and Chemical Peel is not bad. That's good enough for me. I need him to fire so I can feel comfortable getting closer here. There we go. We got hit once. That's fine. Little Steven was not what I was expecting to get there, but it is, again, in its own way, kind of a DPS upgrade if you frame it in the best possible way. A little disappointed that we are on the cellar, and we probably will be unable to access that uh, boss trap room. Probably. But we'll see. You know, you never know. Maybe we'll get lucky and find uh, just a random blood bank sitting about. There's our fifth scent. Could have used that a little earlier, but 
life goes on. This is probably a situation in which we are going to want to hold on to our reroll. Even if our item room sucks, better to uh, reroll our deal with the devil into something incredible than reroll our item room with the chance of getting something, you know, half decent. That's kind of a, a fallacious argument, because we could just as easily reroll our deal with the devil into something shitty, but um, the, the potential upside is better. Let's not lose the spirit heart, you know, I'm getting a little too close for comfort here. Uh, with, with respect to our damage, and I really should not be taking as many hits as I am, considering that, uh, well, first off, I'm warmed up. I already did a run. And secondly, I... Yeah, might as well. Secondly, I have really high damage. But, you know, that it's going to happen sometimes. I'm going to get hit here, I think. It's going to happen sometimes when you're on the cellar twice in a row. Got some tricky rooms occasionally. We're fine. Uh... <laughs> I, I would be okay taking this, alright? If I have to take it, I'll take it, but I would like to reroll it, and I haven't had the best... Oh, that's so good. I haven't had the best luck with rerolling those bomb items yet, but... Um, if if we have awesome things from our boss and our deal with the devil, we'll probably reroll that. And the temperance card here gives us uh, another kind of huge boon for us, especially if we can get another key somewhere. It is Fistula. A little scary, man. What's the pro play for Fistula here? Don't shoot. <laughs> But also, the pro play for Fistula is definitely throw down the Temperance card, and then if you're about to get hit, just run into the Blood Bank instead, so you only lose half a heart, and you get some money out of it. I'm, I'm saying that a little tongue-in-cheek. If you were that good, you'd be like the... You'd be the pinball wizard of Isaac. That deaf, dumb, and blind kid sure plays a mean Judas. Help. There we go. Latch key is acceptable. We get another spirit heart out of it at least. And, you know, the two keys actually does allow us to go to our shop, which with the temperance card is probably going to be very nice. Or has the chance to be at least. And, yeah, even with the temperance card, I think we do want to take both of these. Um, check this out, though. I think we'll do it like this. We're going to go all the way down to half a heart. I think that was better, even though there were red hearts sitting out there. It's not guaranteed, but I do think that was probably... It, it was a right choice, let's put it that way. So our damage is looking real good. We're not quite at uh, 15 cents yet, but we stand a pretty good chance. To, uh, maybe we don't stand a good chance to get there. We'll see what we got in here. Oh, my butt. My butt hurts. How could you do this to me? Uh, we Again, we could use the blood bank, or we could take a chance at it here on the... Or we could take the bomb bag, I should say, or we can take a chance, and I'm glad we took the chance there. Uh, 99 bombs beats the bomb bag. It's like getting paid in a lump sum, basically. I think I want the spirit heart. I think I want sharp plug. Um, I don't know what else I want here. Probably sharp plug first, and then uh, we should be able to get the five cents. Again, I'm not a, a kind uh, master to my donation machine here. But it should work out nicely for us anyway. You think, wouldn't it be great if we blew it all up? Like we blew the donation machine up several times and there was just a quarter sitting in one of these. And by great, I mean actually like fairly likely. So that 99 bombs pickup is awesome. Well, that's not really worth my time, honestly. But, you know, we're low on money, high on bombs. We might as well trade uh, bombs for the chance to get some money. And two bombs for two cents is actually a great deal as far as I'm concerned right now. We will go open our... Uh, Stone chest, and if it sucks, then we can buy the battery and reroll it. And if it doesn't suck, then we can take it. Might just be consumables. It was just consumables, but it's consumables uh, in the form of cash that we can use in the future, or immediately if we wanted to waste our money on something we don't really need. This is—it's shaping up. That was not very smart. It's shaping up to be a good run, but there's a little bit of danger still involved. Our damage is well above what we would expect it to be at this point in the game. However. That was almost incredibly dumb damage as well. Uh, however, we are relatively low on HP and a couple of bad hits could put us in a bad spot. Let's do the risky thing up here and try to get these pills. Okay, that was probably not worth it, but at least we, we got some information and we're probably not going to get hurt in the process. I don't think there's really that much desire to take an explosive diarrhea pill with us. 
let's hopefully find an eternal heart in our second secret room and get out of here again yet another run with a very very slow oh this isn't gonna be our second secret room yet another run with a very very slow uh first couple of floors boss rush is not gonna be very likely but we've set ourselves up in a, a pretty you know defensible position for the future so i'm happy about that well if that's not the second secret room where the heck is it maybe it still is the second secret room Where? Oh, my brain had a fart there for a second. There should be a second secret room available up here. Either there or here. Okay. Oh, man. I'm not sure if this was worth it, but... We, we could use a better trinket than Swallowed Penny, which apparently I didn't even pick up. Um, so, we'll play it. I don't think money's... Oh, that's not so good. I don't think money's likely to be that big of a problem for us in the future as a result of the fact that we can just blow up our donation machine a lot. Should be able to find secret rooms pretty easily as well, so... I'm not going to say that that was worth it. We paid 14 cents for Isaac's head. Uh, but it might not necessarily be a, a huge problem. Swallowed Penny probably better than Isaac's head, actually, so we'll <laughs> take that. We paid 14 cents for nothing. Let's move along. We're at 10 minutes already. Again, a slow couple of first floors here, but... That's okay. Consumables are looking real nice. And again, good damage as well. Pentagram, Chemical Peel, and Small Rock. Even if we don't get any damage upgrades for a few floors here, we should be in a decent position. But Lord knows I would rather get damage upgrades than not get them. We already fought Fistula, so what better way to annoy me and slow the run down even further than to make me fight Envy as well? But the blessing here is that we may have a chance to... Reroll Shoop the Whoop, and I'm thinking if we reroll Shoop the Whoop, let's just ask for a nice conservative item gain. Maybe you could give me like Mom's knife. It's not Brimstone. It's not the best item in the game, probably depending on who you ask. I hate that Envy Room, man. That Envy Room is is totally Edmund being like, this is the room that's gonna frustrate players, and I I don't begrudge him for it. It's kind of funny in a you know go fuck yourself kind of way. However. It's basically like, I'm going to make you fight the most annoying mini-boss, and also, it's going to drop nothing. That's okay. It's good practice, I guess, for what the real world is like. <laughs> Have those TPS reports on my desk by Monday. Why don't you go fuck yourself, Lumberg? Hell, Lumberg fucked her. Office Space is like the perfect airplane movie. I think I've, I've I probably watched it like 10 times before I even flew inside of an airplane. Outside of an airplane, a regular frequent flyer, of course. But um, whenever it's on like an airplane entertainment system, I'm like, you know what? That's a good way to spend like an hour and 42 minutes. Absolutely. I'll just watch Office Space. And then by the time Office Space is over, there's only seven and a half hours left to go in the flight. Time flies. What is this? Explosive diarrhea again? You know, I didn't really need to ask that. It kind of kind of showed me before too long. Do we know this one? Please don't be Bad Trip. If that was Bad Trip, we'd be starting to look at a scary situation here because our HP could be better. Uh, we've already examined everything going on down here. Let's. I was going to say try to find a secret room, but it's clear that a secret room will not be visible there. We really need to stop taking dumb damage here. Also, maybe let's stop like bisecting these uh, conga lines right off the bat. Making our dodging life substantially harder. You know, I gotta gotta get a work life dodging life balance set up. And I don't think I've done a great job of that thus far. Ooh, yep, yep, yep. Not surprised that that happened. We've we found ourselves in these dangerous positions HP wise quite a lot. So I, I feel like I'm a little bit of a veteran when it comes to them right now. What's our solution? Really, like after this room, which is gonna scare the shit out of me. After this room, though, we're just gonna cool it. We're going to buy what we need to buy from the shop, no matter the cost to our donation machine. And uh, if we need a spirit heart, if we can get a spirit heart, we're going to get one. If we can get BFF, we're going to get it. Uh, I apologize on behalf of myself to our donation machine because it's it's had some tough times. Hopefully we'll be able to pay it back here a little later over the course of this run. I'm really worried about the time that here's my nightmare scenario for the streak ending. I need a spirit heart to feel comfortable fighting the boss, but our donation machine is at zero because I've been so unkind to it. As a result, I end up not getting the Spirit Heart and I lose, thereby validating all of those people who are like, NL, you're such an idiot for, like, playing your donation machine too much and accidentally blowing it up. 
there is still a theoretical chance that that comes back to bite me in the ass like 300 episodes later. And it scares the shit out of me, man. As well it should, I think. As well it should. As above, so below. Isn't that the name of like some shitty horror movie? I don't want to insult the people who spent, you know, a year working on it. I'm just... It came out in February, so it's probably not a good sign. Now, if you could just stay, thank you, uh, over on that side of the map, that's good news for me. Magic Mushroom was the payout that I wanted to see in the world. And I'm actually, I was gonna say it, you're not gonna believe me, but I was gonna say, Krampus fight would be awesome here. No matter what, uh, we have a chance to get something useful. Lump of coal, we take, and we take. <laughs> not to accidentally quote Casimir Pulaski Day or something like that, but we'll be, uh... Very happy with that, and of course, like, that plus Magic Mushroom is, is a huge coup for us very, very quickly. Bit of a clutch dodge. I think we got one champion enemy, but they're dead. Do we have a shop? No, we've already been to the shop. Every one of these floors is taking me so long. We have the item room, that's what it was. I forgot, you know. There's two important rooms on every floor, but I've forgotten what they are. Book of Revelations. Uh, very glad I didn't find this before the boss, because I probably would not have ended up getting Magic Mushroom. I would have gotten, uh... Why am I blowing these up now, I guess, but I would have gotten a uh, cube of meat instead, and I would have been happy about it, and that's the insidious part, and holy shit, another middling horror movie, but holy shit, that room, spirit heart, for one key, we got a spirit heart, infestation 2, and a tears upgrade, that's pretty stellar, and infestation 2 by itself is insanely good, so I'm, I'm in a happy place right now, you know. What I love about Infestation 2 is that it's like a tipping point, you know, every we kill an enemy, they spawn a spider that can kill an enemy, they, that spawns a spider that kills an enemy, like, it's just very, very, it's, it's positive equilibrium, you know, it's unstable, it just keeps getting faster and faster and faster, ideally, at least. Uh, fuck the second secret room. I would like to get an arcade if possible, but I, I'm not gonna blow up our donation machine to give us a chance at an arcade, that's just, that's just rude. So let's head down to the next floor, and if we were comfortable coming down to this floor with what we had, going down to the next floor, I am, I'm sitting pretty as far as I'm concerned. Oh, it's alright to be little bitty, little bitty Isaac in a big old city. I might as well sing, might as well smile. Life goes on for a little bit of while. Are Randy Travis, Alan Jackson, and Joe Diffie the same person? I know Tim McGraw's different. But I think Alan ja at least Alan Jackson and Joe Diffie are the same person, right? It's alright to be Joe Diffie. Look like Alan Jackson in the Hockey Talk City. I might as well sing. Nobody knows. You're Joe Diffie, not Alan Jackson's nose. And, you know, don't be surprised to know who Joe Diffie is. I grew up in the country. You guys ever hear the song? And uh, uh, I'm waiting for the answers to be no here. Swallow Penny, you've done your part. Um, you ever hear the song Gone Country by Alan Jackson? I think I've gone on tirades about this in earlier Isaac episodes. But Gone Country is basically propaganda from the South Carolina Board of Tourism. There's multiple verses of Gone Country. Here is the gist of every single one of them as they spec'd it out in the songwriting laboratories in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, what if somebody lived in the city and their life sucked, so they moved out to the country and it got better? That's every single verse. It's like, There was a waitress, she worked in Las Vegas, who wasn't very happy. Moved to a farm and reconciled with her daddy. Like, I just made that up, but that's pretty much how it goes. Basically, they all moved from the city to the country and become millionaires. And I'm like, this story has never happened, like, to anybody. He's gone country. Look at them boots. Apparently, that's the... Because that is the first thing in the song, I'm assuming that that is the most noteworthy part of quote-unquote going country. Gone country, back to his roots. Anyway. I'm just getting at, I, I don't, I didn't dislike living in the country, I just think the song is somewhat disingenuous. Here's a song, how about, you know, hey, moving from where you live to a different place is maybe just running away from your problems. It's, it doesn't rhyme as well, but, you know, maybe you'd be better off to handle the inherent problems, you know, that, that you are running away from as opposed to simply going country, you know? It's gone, postal. Look at them stamps. Anyway, I'm just, I'm asking the questions that Alan Jackson refuses to be asked, you know, I'm, I'm asking the hard questions. 
Oh, uh, we did get a deal with the devil, which is great, but at the same time, I should have had my reroll ready here. I played a little lazy. Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna take Mom's knife here. I don't think I'm gonna take it because I'm really happy with the way our tiers are looking right now. And we've had... Basically, here's what I'm doing. I'm avoiding Mom's knife now. This is like if you're trying to lose weight, being like... Someone being like, hey, do you want potato chips? And you'll be like, nah, dog. You do want potato chips. But what you want to do is you want to... You've given yourself a token that says, I can eat potato chips later at a time of my choosing. And it will still fit within my nutritional plan because I didn't eat them now. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not avoiding Mom's knife. I actually gained something on that room. I gained, I gained one token to use Mom's knife on a later run and you can't get mad at me for it. So the next time Mom's knife shows up, I might, uh, I might end up picking it up. But for this time, I don't think it's uh, strictly necessary for me to take it and win. So I'm going to give myself the token instead. Plus, we have had Mom's Knife a lot lately. Plus, we have Infestation 2, and I like Infestation 2. I like our tears. I like, uh... I like, uh, Lump of Coal. I like actually being able to use it. And I'll admit, there's been a lot of Brimstone Mom's Knife runs lately, so... I am... I don't... I almost feel like the last one shouldn't count because it was Ludovico technique as well, but... Either way. I think this is... It's an amenable situation. So I think I'm gonna leave here. I can't believe, again, we're at, like, 20 minutes leaving the caves, too. Very slow runs lately, but it's hard to complain. PhD has also been a huge help for us here. We're gonna head down to the next floor. I really hope it's not open. I hope there would be. I hope there would be. That's okay. We could have rerolled both of them if I'd been a little smarter about it, but we got the PhD, which allowed us to get like health and luck upgrades. So uh, I'm not saying it's a wash. We probably would have been better off taking our deal with the devil. Or, like, re-rolling our deal with the devil. But, hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles. You telling me I used pheromones when these guys are immune to it? Does your insanity know no bounds, Edmund? What's the refractory period on these guys spawning? It's ridiculous. It's safer than the... Gandalf wanted Frodo to keep the ring in Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring, released in 2003. Directed by Peter Jackson. Um... Scored, of course, by the inimitable Howard Shore. I find that the best composers have good names. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. That's a fucking sweet name. You know, there are very few... There's economists that are named like Adam Smith. You know, mathematicians named John Nash. I'm, the name doesn't make them a better person, but it does make it a better name. You know? There's nothing wrong with economy or, you know, mathematician as well. However, I think if you've got to be a composer, you got to be like a... Okay, John Williams is the counterexample. However, for every John Williams, there's like four Hans Zimmers. If you're going to tell me Howard Shore isn't a cool name, well, you've never been to the beach is all I'm trying to say. So, more spirit arts, please. You know what would be a great option for us here, if we can get it? There's options. You know what else would be awesome, though? The Mitre. We're getting a, uh, a lot of red hearts, but not a lot of spirit hearts, and I would benefit from them. You always do, I suppose, but, like, I, I would really like them, though. So after this, we will do an Eden run, but again, as I said in the last episode, uh... Hmm, that's not very good. As I said in the last episode, I'm interested to see what people think about, uh... You know, the idea of doing, like, Eden, one of the seven characters. Eden, one of the seven characters, etc., etc. It might not be seven, it might be nine at this point, I can't remember. If you ignore the loss. It should be nine, actually, at that point. You know what, let's, uh... Let's leave this for now. It's just a little little slow here. I'm assuming that we're probably due to not get a deal with the devil for the first time in a little while. That's okay by me. I'll admit we've we've hit above our weight class there. We we haven't deserved as many deals with the devil as we've probably gotten. That was the best use of explosive diarrhea of all time human history, without a doubt. I can't believe that, that worked out so fantastically for us. Let's see what we got here. Boss Rush is a, a long distant pipe dream. Maybe on the next run? It's been a while. My my boss rush uh, Dangus is starting to tingle a little bit. Dangus? Dangus is really the word you want to go with there? That's evocative, I guess. Okay, money situation's fine. Still looking for items, still looking for shop. Squeezy pickup is good. There goes there goes all, basically, of the HP that we gained from Squeezy. Yep, there it goes. Keep going, Squeezy. Look at them boots. Oh, wow. That was... I did not see that. That's my bad. Let's be smarter, because I could fight Greed here and then not have any chance at a deal with the devil on the next floor by not getting a Spirit Heart. So, uh, it's, it's in my best interest to not fuck this completely up. 
That's, we have uh, we have PhD, so that's got to be worth it. It's conceivable that we fuck this run up. If we do, it's entirely my bad, obviously. But uh, the low oh, that was close. The longer we can hold this sun card, obviously, the better it is for us because we, uh, you know, if, if we have a full health pill, this was like vanilla meta up until the point that Rebirth came out, but if we uh, have a full health pill or a sun card or a bad trip pill or something like that, basically it makes it nearly impossible to lose if you have a lot of HP, and we're, we're well on the road to have a lot of HP. Definitely we want to use the Joker card on this floor. Uh, we did not get a deal with the devil. We'll just see quickly if it's like Godhead, not Godhead, Goathead in here. It's not. Concussive Tears is a small damage upgrade, so I'll take it. And we get Guppy's collar and the ability to fly. I don't think we're going to become Guppy on this run. So let's take a chance. We'll take Lord of the Pit. We'll reroll that. Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> now I might have been better off, admittedly, taking the Guppy item, but then we wouldn't have gotten nine lives. Uh, it's a fool card. Hmm. I, I'm still happy with this. Like, nine lives is so good in and of itself that even if we don't become Guppy, it's a great standalone item that I can be very happy to have. Give up a lot of HP on this floor, but we are also aware that there's an HP upgrade pill in our rotation. That's not it, but the coin purse could allow us to get it pretty easily. So I think it's worth a chance, and it's orange. Mm, at least one, maybe two? Yeah, two more. It's not a two more. <laughs> Kindergarten cop, you know what I'm talking about. We might as well buy, like, kind of a lot here. Yeah, that helps out too. I would like to get the pill, but at the same time, I kind of felt guilty that we spent so much money in our donation machine just kind of like, Hey, uh, remember? That was smart. Remember me? You know, you you blow, you blow me up all the time? Why do you blow me up? Northern line, baby, could you explain it, please? I'm weak in the knees, and then I will say, It's easy, babe, basically, I need your money. Oh, that makes sense, I need you. You guys ever have the some, There's Something About Mary on DVD? <laughs> Why do you ask? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Um, there was a special feature that featured the cast lip-syncing to... Uh, build, Why Do You Build Me Up Buttercup? I guess it's just called Build You Up Buttercup. Um, and every time I think about it... Ooh, it reminds me how glad I am that YouTube exists. Because at the time, I would watch that. I was like 14. Which is me saying I was actually, like, kind of too old to be doing this, but I would just watch that, like, four times in a row, and I'd be like, Ben Stiller, you're not singing this song. Yeah, you know, media, in my opinion, has come a long way. At least, like, bullshit media like that has come a long way over the past few years. Now you can be watching me playing The Binding of Isaac Rebirth instead of Ben Stiller pretend to lip sync, build you up buttercup. We lived that reality so that you don't necessarily have to. Yo, what do you have against Build You a Buttercup, Northern Light? I don't know, man. It's a great song. That's why I was singing it. It's got that cool part where they go, hoo 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 You know what I'm talking about. Personally, I think the Farrelly brothers are probably the most important American brothers of the 20th century. Not the 21st. We don't talk about their output since then. But, uh, you know, even... I think there's something about Mary is definitely more of a contribution to public consciousness than the Wright brothers with their airplane. Who's... How often do you watch a Farrelly Brothers movie? Probably, like, once or twice a day. And how often do you fly in an airplane? Maybe only six or seven times a month. I don't really want Firemind here, to be honest. We had it last run. So, I... You know, if I had to vote for them, I think I would. Can you vote for twins or brothers to be... Oh my god, we are going to become Guppy. Can you vote for brothers to become Prime Minister? I mean, they basically... They came out of the same vagina at the same time. Well, that's not what brothers are, but you know what I mean. I think they should count as, like, one person. Just for me personally. Um, now that we are Guppy and we have Infestation 2, this is doubtlessly a one-run. It's, it's almost impossible to lose. And so I've already turned off the min-max aspects of my brain. I'm like, you know, am I going to go back and reroll Guppy's pod? Y probably, if it's not very far. Um, might want to put ourselves in a state where we, like, just put ourselves in the 100% Spirit Heart state, but... I don't think it's really that relevant. I probably shouldn't have played it as much as I did, actually, to be honest. But I guess we'll just reroll Firemind first. Uh, you know what? This is all about you right now, Donation Machine, and also that Tears upgrade. But apart from that Tears upgrade, it's all about you, Donation Machine. I got an opportunity to give you some money. Please accept my apology. They are accepting my apology as we speak. 
I don't really think we need BOGO bombs. We could reroll the shop, but again, when we've got a win, we might as well pay it forward. My favorite M. Night Shyamalan movie. We'll pay it forward for future generations here. That's good. We've almost... Actually, we might have gotten it past the point where it actually was prior to this run, so uh, I think that's good news. And now, don't I feel like a silly goose for taking Lord of the Pit? Silly Northern Lion. You got three guppy items within, like, half a floor of one another. You don't need to take Lord of the Pit. It's okay, though. That's, uh... I, I, I kid because I care, but also I'm sure that people are going to be like, well, there's trademark Northern Lion luck right there. I can't really deny it. Um, you know what? I'm just going to save a reroll. We're coming close to our boss fight, so I'm assuming that we're going to want it for a deal with the devil. We are leaving behind Firemind and a chance to reroll Guppy's Paw. Now we should go back because we can just buy a reroll from the shop. Um, yeah, you know, I, I recognize that this is probably... Uh, you would be like, this is uncharacteristically great luck. I don't disagree. This is uncharacteristically great luck. Um, I'm happy to be Guppy. You know what? Fuck all that. I'm gonna say that this is me getting the game giving me credit for not taking mom's knife. It gave me the easy way out. It tempted me with the apple. And I said, you know what? I don't want your apple. I'm a little bit more of a citrus guy. And then the game said, well, here you go then. How do you like them apples? And it gave me uh Gave me all the guppy items, which I think is really, if we're being honest, just fair. Still can't believe this took 28 minutes. You know what? Let's do it. We're gonna do we're gonna do negative this time. Let's placate it. People ask for it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do the, so I need to be very let's keep this in mind. We're going to go down from the womb two to shoal. Not gonna go up for the first time in like 200 episodes. You know, people have been asking for it. We're gonna do one of them. If you hate Dark Room, uh, don't don't get too bent out of shape. Might be the last one for quite some time. If you love the Dark Room, I would advise you to enjoy this run a lot <laughs> because there probably won't be too many situations in which I I do do this. So uh, enjoy yourself right now. Is is my is my advice to you. There we go. Never let anybody say NL doesn't have balls. If I have Guppy, two all stats upgrades, a lot of damage, and infestation too, I will totally go to the dark room. It doesn't scare me at all. Okay. Maybe a deal with the devil here? We've had super good luck on our deals with the devil. When I have bad luck, I call it out, so I might as well give credit where credit is due. We have had crazy good luck. I don't want either of them, actually. So we'll head down. And it's very important. Let's get that stuck in our head. Head down. Head down. Put our head down and do this. But seriously, we're going to put our head down and go down to Shoal. We're going to put our whole body down to Shoal. We're going to do so in the interest of making sure that we get to the dark room. I got to try it, right? I don't even know what happened there. But it seems to have worked out pretty well to start with. Sweet champion chub. You... <laughs> It's a, it's a really good phrase. Sweet champion chub, this is a good barbecue rub. I don't know what I was going for there, but it did rhyme in the end, so I'll take it. <sighs> it's a little bit of a load off my shoulders, you know. Every win starts... That's a health upgrade. Every win starts uh, in a position of ambiguity. You don't know if it's going to work out as a success or a failure. So to be in a position where you're, you're pretty much guaranteed to have a success is really exciting. Um... I'm happy to have the opportunity to continue this streak. 64 is like, I don't know, a nice a nice stop on the way to 75. 75 is three quarters of the way to 100. I mean, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, of course, but uh, down. We're going down here. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. It's just, uh, you know, I, I'm thinking about the future here. We're closing in on two-thirds of the way to 100 runs in a row, 100 wins in a row. That's Just saying that out loud actually made me a little bit anxious. Let's not lose on this run. Um, I haven't done Shoal in 100 years, so I actually am interested to see what kind of enemies we're going to face that I've... I completely forgot about those, like, uh, the big sperm guys that explode there. You never see those guys going the other way. This is a nice trip down memory lane. Got anything for me in here? It could be worth it, but... I'm trying to play it just like the slightest bit safe. Yeah, you never see those guys, man. You see the the other, like the brown versions of them, but yeah, I'll take it. 
Now, what am I hoping for from the, the dark room? Normally, this is where I'd be talking about what I'm hoping for from the chest, but we, we can't get anything from the dark room, really. I guess I'm hoping for spirit hearts. I don't know if we can get red chest items. Maybe we can get some guppy items and then re-roll them. Oh, man, I forgot. We haven't fought Satan in forever here, man. Fallen's gonna be super easy. Uh, actually, the whole thing, in theory, and probably in practice as well, should be really, really easy. We don't have hive mind. I guess it's BFF that makes BBF larger, which is strange. Because I, I would think of it as a fly as opposed to a companion, but now that I think about it, and maybe that's just... That's baseless. Very quick shoal. Shoal's not so bad. What do we got in the dark room? At least on a run like this, we would expect probably no rooms to be bad. Are you a wizard? Luck up. Luck up's good because we can get uh, other consumable drops. Or sorry, other item drops from chests. You don't even need the uh, golden chests. If they're regular chests, they will drop items here. The same logic applies uh, here as it does to the chest, I think. So hopefully we can prove that one way or the other. This is going to be a win, though. I, I gotta admit, you know, it's somewhat refreshing to go back to the dark room. Admittedly, this was a run where we were going to win regardless of the direction that we went. But maybe this is a nice way to just, you know, remind myself of what what's what it's all about down here. There are some tough rooms down here, but uh, I, I think we're going to be largely insulated from that based on the fact that we spawn 100,000 spiders a second that, uh, well, we mostly spawn uh, the flies, but either way. We spawn a lot, of, a lot of really things that are good for us. A lot of really things that are good for us. Mark Twain, I believe, originally said that. Rubber Cement Tech Point Five. That is super weird and makes me very happy that I did not take uh, Mom's Knife because we'll be able to get some crazy stuff going here. Sweet sign curve, bro. All right. Pretty much our ideal enemy to fight at this point is going to be Fistula and Teratoma. We do have rerolls ready for that health upgrade, should we need them. And actually, this is, again, one of those runs that was slow and then got super fast by the time we hit the end here, so I'm real happy with this. Two more items. Yeah, Dead Onion and Halo of Flies. I'm content with both of them, to be honest with you. Dead Onion is going to slow down our shot speed, but make our hitbox much larger. Let's do it, man. Tiny Planet as well. Tiny Planet, Rubber Cement, Tech Point 5. We're getting some ridiculous items down here. If this is our last trip to the Dark Room for a while, they've definitely made it an interesting one. Oh, man. I was going to say... Before he died, I was going to say, this is going to be a hard counter, I think, to, uh, to Mask of Infamy. And it was. Like, sincerely so. Alright, we don't need to pick up any of that stuff. I'm leaving uh, Headless Baby behind because I want to get the double reroll. Headless Baby's not worth really all that much to us right now. Uh, to double reroll it into something maybe a little bit better would be more palatable in the overall situation. I like how with our shots here... They just kind of like cluster up against the wall after they get stuck in the corner. Good thing we got the spiders with uh, some extra mobility there. Okay, we got our reroll ready. We've had really good luck with items in the dark room so far. I mean, unicorn stump is real good, but we want to keep the D6 here, and you know, I don't want to. I don't want to fuck up our spider fly equilibrium by taking unicorn stump and using it every room when I could be. Killing enemies and generating a nice little uh, insectopod here for ourselves. I haven't fought the lamb in forever. I almost forget like what that fight is even like. The last time I fought the lamb may genuinely have been when I beat it as the lost. It can't be too far away from that anyway. Might as well get used to dealing with different enemy patterns because there's going to be alternate paths in Rebirth, I think. So, Oh good, Dark Bum, just in time. Alright, I am assuming that the lamb is going to face pretty much the same fate as all the other enemies we fought on this floor and die without really doing any damage to us, but I did take a small hit there and we're done. Well, I hope you enjoyed our brief foray into the dark room here. Much better. Uh, if you did enjoy it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, we're at Win63 Nintendo 64 coming up next. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.